What's going on, Jeromes? So, uh, after the Minnesota Fighting Vikings released a four-time Pro Bowler, four straight thousand-yard running back, Dalvin Cook, the big question is, where was he going to end up in free agency? Now, all the talk is he's looking for a significant contract, uh, as well as he's biding his time since he does have $2 million guaranteed from the Vikings, and he wants to be in a place where they're going to value Dalvin Cook. Yes, he went third person in a number of interviews so far. So, uh, where, where is he going to go? <sighs> An interesting wrinkle that Dalvin just put out there after an appearance on the Schefter podcast where he's like teaming up with uh, free agent wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins recently released uh, by the Arizona Cardinals would be epic for the NFL. And I don't know, man, like obviously if you play a lot of fantasy football, you know about the value of Dalvin Cook and DeAndre Hopkins, but it ain't 2020 anymore, man. But he, he makes an interesting point. So, epic for the NFL. Cook interested in teaming up with Hopkins is from ESPN. Speaking Monday on the Adam Schefter podcast, Cook said of Hopkins, also free agent who remains assigned, I will end up on the same rooster that would be something epic for the NFL. I know his mindset, and I done played against D-Hop a numerous amount of times, Cook told Schefter. Uh, when I've been with D-Hop, we done chill together. We done been around each other like, uh, and it's... Like, I kind of see the person that he is, is, is like, uh, he want to win. And that's what my mind at, that's, that's what my mind at too. I want to go win. Like I said, the money going to come and that's going to happen. Uh, but like, as far as going to lift that Jerome Barty mm, trophy up, uh, he got the same mindset as me. And everybody knows who D-Hop is, uh, Cook said, uh, calling him a dynamic player. Uh, you know what you're getting out of D-Hop, and you know what he going to bring to your roster. It's the same for me. Like, you know, the film speaks for itself. I don't really got to do much like, you know, talking about Dalvin Cook, who Dalvin Cook and DeAndre Hopkins is. Uh, but we haven't talked, and he was one of those guys I was going to reach out to because uh, like, I know uh, he got the same mindset as me. Like, we're going to win. Uh, we're going to get on the roster and going to contend. Uh, Hopkins played for Arizona, blah, blah, blah. The Cardinals, uh, Texans, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if we can get on the same roster and be the same team, that would be a beauty of a situation, uh, Cook said. And the thing about it is, like, DeAndre Hopkins, respect. He's a five-time uh, all-pro, a three-time first team, a five-time pro bowler. Uh, he is 31, uh, just turned 31 in June, but he is you know, a, a fringe Hall of Fame player. But he, is he that guy anymore? And Hopkins being released by the Cardinals, he, he's biding his time as well as, you know, we got five, six weeks before the start of training camps, and he's trying to find a spot where he can make – significant money and same thing with Dalvin Cook at, at this spot and with Hopkins uh, he has been visiting teams visit the Tennessee Titans uh, recently had a visit with the Patriots and this article actually goes on to talk about how the Dolphins would be a, a great landing spot for both of them I don't necessarily see it uh, especially where the Dolphins are built on speed and Hopkins has always been more of a, a more of a catch radius possession uh, go up and get it type receiver. I don't know that he if he would mesh stylistically with what they bring with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, but I think an interesting spot would be the team that Hopkins just visited. So you have the way, the New England Patriots. That's right. Bill Belichick from way back in the day, man. And obviously yeah, so Belichick has an affinity for players who used to be really, really good. And you look at how the, he brought in Chad Ochocinco at the end of his career. Randy Moss, it obviously worked. Uh, also, remember they brought in um, they brought in Demarius Thomas. Rest in peace. Rest in power. So there you go. Uh, so DeAndre Hopkins is trying to get the last bit uh, uh, out of his career. But you look at the Patriots roster. They could use both DeAndre Hopkins and Dalvin Cook. And Belichick does like his, him some veterans. They do have around $13 million in cap space, so they have to work around that because both of them combined is probably going to be about $20 million. But look at the receivers. So Devontae Parker, did you know that he played with Teddy at Louisville? Hmm. Uh, Kendrick Bourne. Okay. Uh, you brought in Juju Smith-Schuster, basically replacing Jacoby Myers, who uh, you lost in free agency to the Raiders. Tequan Thornton and his speed. Kashawn Booty, who fell in the draft. I'd, I mean, obviously Hopkins would be wide receiver one in this room today, and you're trying to get uh, as much help for Mac Jones as possible. And then you look at the running back room, it ain't no great shakes either. And 
Uh, you look at how Belichick has brought in like Antoine Smith and Corey Dillon in previous years, like Garrett Blunt. He does like him some veteran running backs, and Dalvin would fit into that mold. And Ramadre Stevenson, even though he's looked good for the last couple of years, the pride of Oklahoma, is he an every down running back? I, I don't know. I don't know if he is a bell cow guy. And the rest of your running back room, you have Ty Mont, no, uh, Damian Harris uh, signed with the Bills. So. I think that it would make a lot of sense if the Patriots did bring in DeAndre Hopkins and Dalvin at this point. But will Belichick do it? I don't know. Like, like I said, the Patriots are on $13 million in cap space. They'd have to fudge some things to make it happen. Also, ooh, Dalvin reunited with Riley Reef. Let's go. Let's go, man. It'd be good times. But I, I understand that you know Dalvin, yeah, talking about his guys, talking about his mindset and stuff, he's trained with uh, Hopkins in the offseason down in Florida before. And – T- them teaming up, even though they are uh, up there in years. Uh, Hopkins on the wrong side of 30 for a receiver. Dalvin certainly up there uh, at 27, going to be 28 for a running back. But, again, don't sleep on Belichick. Just watch them join the Patriots, and then they end up winning the AFC East. <laughs> Whenever another mob is all up on the Bills and the Dolphins and the Jets, Belichick just does the freaking thing again. Not crazy, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Dalvin thinking that uh, teaming up with New Hopkins would be epic for the NFL. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.